So, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> a little bit nervous about this how are you? <laughs> camera stuff. Okay, what makes you nervous? Uh, even the idea of camera being on, even if it's just for our own purpose. Mm -hmm. How does it actually feel? It kind of makes me feel a little bit anxious and very aware of the camera. I see it, I mean, it's in my corner of my eyes and I see the black horrible camera here. Oh really? Yes. So you really are, are very aware of that? Yes, I'm, I'm a camera phobic. Camera phobic? <laughs> when did you first realize you are camera phobic? Uh, I think a couple of years ago. Hmm. I've been doing some videos even though I am camera phobic, but I think it, you could see it in my videos that I'm, I can't relax, can't be myself, mm -hmm. can't be. How are you actually when you are yourself? How is Jarkko when Jarkko is his Well, uh, many things probably. Um, if I'm talking about like, um, if I'm talking about like a work, work me, mm. I'm usually, you know, I, for example, when I'm giving a training, I'm somehow, I'm very present. When I'm giving a training, I have this sense of presence that I, you know, I'm usually fully here mm -hmm. and I kind of, I kind of feel that things are just bubbling out of me. Okay. I'm not really, you know, that's why I hate to plan lectures ahead. Yeah. Because many times I go there and I start somewhere and then it just kind of starts flowing and goes and goes. And, and I have these themes that I come back to and I have these topics that I come back to, but, but every time it's a little bit different. Okay. But uh, there's some similar topics all the time, repeating. Okay. Same stories, same similar things. And every now and then I add something new, some kind of new story or new thing that has happened. Yeah. So you are, when you feel that you are being yourself, you feel that you are very present and things are bubbling. Yeah, things are yeah. just like bubbling out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we have like about 20 minutes time to mm -hmm. have this kind of mini coaching session mm -hmm. around this topic. Your well, how, how would you actually describe the topic or what would you like to what would you like to focus on during this mini coaching session um, maybe uh, I have like two ideas coming to my mind one is, mm -hmm. is it could be like camera stiffness that, mm -hmm. that I get so stiff and you know rigid when when camera is there that could be one topic or then the other topic could be just that that problem is that I have so many things I could talk about. Mm -hmm. I have so many ideas and things I could talk about when I'm you know, making short videos. But uh, when I think about making any video, I have nothing to say. Okay. I'm, maybe they're related. So you mentioned that one area could be this camera stiffness to, to spend time around that issue mm. or then this issue that when you need to make a video, you feel that you have not, nothing to say, even yes. though you have a lot of ideas. So which one would you like to focus on first, or which one would you like to start with? Maybe we could start with uh, not having any ideas. Not having any ideas. Because it's really a strange, when I, even when I say it aloud, it sounds like, the, what the heck am I talking about? Okay, well, why don't you, Kind of repeat that few times. Say it out loud. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Even how funny it sounds. That yes. Jarko says that I don't I have, have any. Not, I don't have anything to say. Okay. I, have, I don't have any ideas. Okay. How do you feel when you say this? I don't have any ideas. I don't have anything to say. Makes me feel very empty. Makes you feel empty. Yeah. Okay. Really. Makes me feel like I'm like, like I go blank. Mhm. Mm I was just thinking maybe maybe another way to put it is that when I start talking or when I think thinking about even thinking about a video there are ten million competing ideas that come to my mind. Okay. Ten million competing ideas and then I when I can't I can't choose any of them and then I go blank and I have nothing to say. So quite a big Paradox there. Yeah. You have like many ideas and then 
when you can't choose, you feel very empty and yes. can have this blank feeling. Yes. Okay. How do you feel right now? Blank. You feel blank? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, again, I, it kind of it changes so every now and then I kind of get this idea. That, oh yeah, there's so many, there's so much, but then, then like it goes back to very blank, not having anything to say. Okay. So there's this kind of saying, I, I don't remember where I heard it, but some personalities are, are the way that they have so much ideas that they don't know where to start and that's why they don't start. Yeah, I think that kind of describes it where well. <laughs> kind of summarizes <laughs> kind of summarizes yeah, yeah yeah and it's strange because when i when i write blogs the same thing happens but then then i just you know of course because i have to i have a deadline mm -hmm. every week mm -hmm. i have to deliver that blog mm -hmm. so then i just have to choose something it's okay. not a nice process many times i feel like oh, i have to choose something and then i just Pick one. I have I have a long list of you know to, to possible topics of bl for blogs and and it's growing all the time. But I kind of force myself to you know pick one topic, and then then uh, the next challenge I still need to learn is, is that uh, I would have to. Because uh, what when, what happens is that then I will start writing and and then I get so many ideas, I get more, 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 more text, more text, and this and that and that and that, mm -hmm. this is relevant, oh, this is relevant here, and I will still need to learn to cut it down. Kind of narrow it down. Narrow it down, but one blog has one point. Okay. But so, so I get the feeling that in this other domain, this writing domain, you are able to choose a topic. Yeah. How do you actually succeed there? How do you do it? Well, usually... Yeah, many ideas and then you just force yourself to choose. Mm. How do you... What happens when you force yourself to choose? Well, usually I pick it up from... Oh, okay. My mind is so complicated that but again I get three different ideas. But what, what happens is that usually when I when I write a blog, I... You know, I Because I have... All the time I have it in my mind that I need to write a blog this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whatever happens could be a topic for a blog and many times I pick one that you know that has just happened and has just come to my mind and I find it's, it's inspiring right now mm -hmm. I write down these ideas if if nothing has happened then I just you know pick one from from them from my list but m most of the time it's something that I have just bumped into for example I just wear I was just on a wood during a weekend, I was talking with my friend, I were working with dogs and, and he told me about his work and he's so frustrated. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to him, that, oh this is such a classic example and, I, and now the next blog will be the most toxic emotion in your workplace. Or I don't know the headlining, yeah. but, but it's, it's about that. Mm -hmm. I, I took that experience because I think that's something that a lot of people can relate to. Mm -hmm. And then I picked that. Okay. And at the same time, I, I have a bad conscience about not writing the very basic blogs that I should have done already a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, like for example, different emotions and very basic stuff. And mm -hmm. I have not really done that because I'm always picking up something. For example, now I could write a blog about about our maybe about our experiment here. Yeah. This could be a great to topic for a blog. Okay. So what is this voice that I hear? That okay? It seems that you are actually very good at picking topics to your blog. Well, and there is a possibility, yeah. Yeah, and that you're very sp spontaneous and yeah. you kind of pick some kind of real life uh, issue or topic mm. that pops into your your awareness and you are able to do it. And what is this voice that says that, okay, but then I haven't written these very, you know, basic, basic blogs. Mm. Like so what, what kind of, I'm like asking that what kind of, is this a problem? Well, or? I don't know if it's a problem to anybody else but me. How, and how is it a problem? Well, I think that you know there should there should be some blogs that are like introducing the very basic ideas about emotions, why different emotions are important, uh, what's the difference, why why is it valuable to look at individuals uh, emotions one by one. 
think there are like there are many many fascinating emotions that there's so wonderful stuff that mm -hmm. I could write about and uh, I have not written those blogs really but you have written two books yeah but they are in the books <laughs> they are in the books that's the problem I have but not you written, have written any... those yeah in Finnish yes okay that's the problem that those things are in the Finnish books okay but in my blogs they are already far away from those well, yeah. they are related, but but there are there are some elements, but uh, like, yeah. This is maybe this is like one thing that I've been thinking. Of course, I should be doing like a basic course for mm -hmm. doing doing uh, how do you work with emotions, mm -hmm. having a very basic course with mm -hmm. the very basic concepts. But yeah. that that is again something that I've been thinking about for the last five years, and I've not done it. Okay. 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 We started to talk about that you have difficulty in, in choosing a topic. Mm. for your video. Yes. And then we kind of walked through that actually you are able to choose a topic when you when you write your blogs even though you feel that you should write about something else. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I'm challenging you to think that maybe there's a belief in mm. you that that believes that you should mm. kind of you know continue in certain uh, order yeah. And maybe that's not the order of your productivity, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So I was wondering that uh, since you succeed uh, in choosing your topic when you're writing, bl writing blogs, how could you kind of, uh, how do you say, like sovelta, like um, apply. apply this ability when you are choosing a topic to your well, video? That's a good question. Basically what I... Yeah, the thing is that because I've not done videos, I don't really know how to make videos. Uh -huh. Well, I have not done them in, in English anyway. And, yeah. and, uh, I, remember, I remember when I did this course in Finnish. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. Okay. It was horrible, you know, uh, getting started, setting everything up. And then coming back to it again and again, I had I had already sold the course, but I didn't have all the videos ready, so I was forced to squeeze time and make them. And I remember I hated the, the making those videos. Okay. And then I decided that this is not what I want to do. Okay, you decided that this is not something you want to do. No. And do you still ha do you still live with that decision? No, no, because now I okay. would, I would want to do it in English, because also it was not paying enough. I mean. I didn't. I think I, I put so much effort into it, and, and the, the money I got out of it, and and the quality of the videos. I, if I look at them now, I go, oh, I can't, I can't live with those. Okay. And maybe you could also see that, that I have, you know, forced myself to do it. Okay. So. But I have to, Can I give you feedback? Sure. Because I I have looked at your videos. And I I always admired you. I thought that wow, Jarko is really. He's so productive, and wow, he's able to, you know, put this small. He's he's good at kind of presenting a small idea in in a small video. Oh. And I thought it was very good. Of course, yeah. the quality wasn't like TV quality no. or anything. You know, mm. you could see that you kind of made them in your garage yeah. and everything. But still, I thought that you were very pr brave and very productive and very clear in your message in those videos. I just wanted to give you this feedback. Yeah. And. You know. And that, thank you, that's probably yeah. because it's and probably, I, you know, the self-criticism is, is always... And I, and I even you know, nowadays, yeah. even though I've, I've made a lot of videos and I've done television and mm -hmm. everything, in a way, you're my kind of video idol, because <laughs> I, you, you inspired me. Really? Yeah, and I always, when I'm yeah. look, doing my videos, I always kind of compare that, what you did. Yeah, I, well, I mean, you're my, you're my video idol. <laughs> that's quite encouraging. So that's why actually I'm so... Your video, video phobic video idol. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I just wanted to... Yeah. Isn't it funny? It I is, mean, it is. That, that, you, that I didn't know this, that you have these kind of thoughts. And it, yeah. if, it seems very funny for me to hear that yeah. you're video phobic and that you don't know how to choose a topic and blah 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 because I see that you are so productive and yes you are full of ideas but also I I see you as a, as a guy who's able to deliver, de deliver those, those ideas. I mean you've written books, you have companies, mm -hmm. you have businesses, you, you do 
all the time. Mm. So this is just feedback I wanted to give, give but you. But that's valuable. And that's kind of inspirational, you know, I already feel like I need to start doing those videos again. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, every <laughs> week I'm waiting your videos. <laughs> I've been waiting for three years now, yeah, your yeah. new videos. Uh, really? 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Because I think that your work around these emotions, is, it's, it's been so important mm. already. And I think that you have so much to give. Mm. Whether it's in Finnish or in English, but I mm. think that you have so much to give. So that's, I just, I just become aware how funny it is actually that how how yeah. that inner feeling, and I I I, I empathize with you that that it must mm. be a big big struggle. It is, but uh, but this is really valuable. I think that's inspirational. That's inspiring. Yeah. Okay. That's, I already. And now I remember, you know, now that you talk about it, I kind of remember that yeah, I did actually choose topics and I made the videos. Some of them were like two, three minutes long, and uh, yeah, and uh, I, I was able to do that. But I, I just remember it was such a huge struggle, and for every two-minute video, I think I, you know, spent a day. Mm -hmm. I spent the day doing yeah. that, and writing that over and over, and doing it over yeah. and, and and still, and it, it was such a huge work that I felt that. Oh, and then, you know, when I compared that work and then that short video that comes out, I felt that this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a lot of work yeah. making videos, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Huge work. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's great to hear. And uh, what I actually uh, now know already is that, that uh, mm. uh, actually, when I'm talking about those blogs, mm. I need to do the same with videos. I need to start choosing video headlines. Okay. Of course, I could, you know, I could even use some of those blogs, mm. but the problem is that the video should be so short. How mm. short do you mean? What do you mean? Well, a few, a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Two, maybe even some, some of them should be even one minute and some should be two, three, five. We know that people usually, they don't watch very long videos nowadays. Some watch, some don't. Some watch, and yeah, but especially those introducts, those yeah. like, but you want to get yeah. people interested. So you became aware that you should start doing the same list with videos yes. as you do with your blogs. Okay. Yes. So is this something you could? It's actually something. Or? Yes, I think I, even if I take my blog list of blogs and, and I write down the, the ideas that are right now mm -hmm. in my mind, I, I get like probably 40, 50 ideas for video. Mm -hmm. You could. Okay. I could do that even today. What what what, what would be like? If we would like, for example, do a video after this, what could be like your first topic? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Then I will get a little bit uh, anxious again. Just like whatever. What could it be? The first one. And I, I find it even interesting. Just pops into my mind that. You know, a lot of people are struggling with the same issue that mm. you. And there are a lot of people who've been planning for making videos like years and they've never done one. Mm. So I was just wondering that maybe even to talk about the big struggle that how, mm. you know, what is productivity actually? Mm. And kind of, you know, when you're trying to be productive, then you kind of uh, set the expectations very high. And I hear that you. You're also disappointed that it was so much work, and I only get this yeah. little teeny tiny video. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I'm wondering that is there a belief that you believe that it should be kind of easier? Yeah, I kind of think that it should be like video on, then you record it, and that's it. Okay, it's really a huge that. belief. Yes, it is. Because what I know about making videos, it, it's never easy, and mm. it's it's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Preparations, thinking about what to say. Yeah. Setting up. Of course, I would need to set a place where everything is ready, so I don't have to set it up every time. And then just start shooting those videos. Yeah. Many days, you know, nowadays, a lot of people they do those videos. They just walk around with the mobile phone and oh, yeah. blah, 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 this is good moment. This yeah. is YouTubers, bloggers do all of that. Yeah, very much. So it doesn't have to be always the studio set up and no. lights and everything. No. 
Yeah, if you if you look at like Gary Vee, <laughs> well, of course he has yeah. like a production company there, but yeah. you know he sits in a taxi and talks something, yes. and then he puts it out, yeah. even though they are produced. But anyway, I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be so clinical and so yes. you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but our time is up. So what are the outcomes from this session? Like, what are you going to, going to do next? Well, first I write down the list of videos, like I have a list from blogs, yeah. video headlines, like video ideas. Then I need to, then I would, I will uh, set up a camera somewhere so that I can start practicing. Yeah, I start, good. I start shooting those videos and see how they are and how to make them short enough. And yeah. I think it's just you know, that, that that's, I just need to start practicing. Yeah. Okay. You will make the list and you will just start practicing. Yes. Those are there. When are you going to make your first practice video? Should I do it tomorrow? Yeah. Or maybe after this. After maybe. this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't know the topic yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we'll yeah. just need to figure yeah. out the topic. Yes. Thank, thank you, Jaco. How do you thank feel you, right man. now? Actually, yeah, it, was, it was quite uh, illuminating or insightful. Okay. And I really appreciate the feedback and that was really nice. My pleasure. <laughs> nice talking to you. Thank you. Okay. And I'm looking forward to seeing your videos. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>